Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So right now, there's a lot of popularity around cybersecurity. You know, specifically people trying to work in the cybersecurity industry. However, the problem is a lot of the times these jobs require you to have some sort of previous experience, you know, which is not always the case, especially for people new to the industry or trying to break into the industry. You know, it's a kind of cat and mouse game, right? You're trying to get this job to get the experience. However, the job requires you to have some experience in order to get the job, right? But luckily, I found this really cool resource where you could get guaranteed teed internships from some of the biggest technology players in the market. We're talking about companies like v like MasterCard, like PricewaterhouseCooper, like uh, Datacom, like Tata, you know, some of these big industry players, right? So if you're someone looking to get into cybersecurity and you just don't have this, that experience, you know, this video is for you. You don't want to miss it. So to get started, I'm going to open my web browser and head over to this website, theforage.com. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, right? So this website uh, actually provides you with a bunch of different virtual internships, right? So to see that, we're going to hit explore and we're going to hit view all job simulations. Right. And besides cybersecurity, guys, there's a, a lot of different things you could get internships for on this website. But we're looking at cybersecurity specifically in this video. So as it says, discover the right job simulation for you. Each simulation is free, you know, so that's a big plus. It's free to do and you can complete it in your own time, as it says here. So it's perfect for someone who already has a day job and you're looking to do this and you're, whenever you have free time, this is perfect for you. So we're going to go to career interests. And as I said, there's a bunch of different things you could get internships for here. However, this video we are focusing on security. So if you hit on security, next it brings up all these companies, right, that are currently offering virtual internships, right? And look at these, look at this guys, MasterCard, JP Morgan, um, AIG, right, uh, Datacom, uh, Tels, Tels, Telstra, sorry, PwC Switzerland, right, Commonwealth Bank, I think it has one more as well, if we had to load more, right, Tata, you know, all of these are, you know, like industry leaders when it comes to cybersecurity, right, so all of these companies, you could get virtual internships for free, right, as you could see, I already signed up for a couple of these, and I already completed these as well, right, these are currently in progress, but you see, I already completed some, right, and underneath it tells you, what's the duration so for the mastercard one it's one to two hours jp morgan five hours uh pwc this is three to four hours you know so it's it's not too long it's not too overbearing right and the good thing is that you could do it in your own time so to get started you could simply select let's just say we want to choose the mastercard one right you click on the one you want to start and I believe you would click enroll. I currently am already enrolled in this, so you, you can't really see it here, but there's an option to hit enroll and it will enroll you in the job simulation, right? This, this virtual internship, right? So as you can see, it gives you a summary of the uh, the internship as well, right? A risk-free way to experience work on the job with us at MasterCard. Practice your skills with example tasks and build your confidence to ace your applications, right? So it actually takes you through these different scenarios where you're required to do different things. Let me see if I could go to task one, show you what that's about. Uh, let's give it a second to load, right? So task one, as you could see, you're going to load what threat what threat phishing represents to an organization what different types of phishing emails look like how mastercard prevents and mitigates phishing threats right so what you'll do is you'll examine an obvious fake email and and make it more believable 
right so if you hit next and it tells you how long it should take so this task takes about 30 uh, minutes to 60 same thing with the next one this one only has two tasks there's some projects with more than uh, two tasks right so yeah and if you hit next uh, that brings up the video and sometimes you're required to download files and stuff like that here it gives you a bit of more information you're an analyst in a secure security awareness team your uh, chief security officer relies on your our team to help support our staff learn how to identify report security threats to mastercard so it's a scenario based thing right they put you in a scenario in this case it's fishing you have to kind of examine some of the threats you know what to look for and i think you have to write a report and create like a security awareness uh training to present to uh the members of staff right but really cool stuff guys really really cool and similar with some of the other you know um some of the other let me just refresh it here. Yeah, some of the other things here yeah, with JP Morgan, uh, Switzerland, the one with uh, PwC. I also did this one as well. You know, but same thing, you know, they give you different things. You know, different. this one had four tasks actually, right? But they give you different things to do. And based on well, uh, how well you do, you'd pass and move on to the other tasks, right? So one it's great for anyone who does not have any sort of experience with cybersecurity, right? Say, for instance, you're coming from a uh, accounting background, right? Or you're coming from, I don't know, a sales background, or, or you're coming from just a strict IT background, and you want to get that that uh, cybersecurity experience, but you can't get a job to get the experience and you're looking for a more a job simulation or internship that you could get this necessary uh, uh, basic uh, job experience, right? This is perfect for you, right? And the thing about it, once you finish these uh, internships, you actually get a certificate. Let me show you what that looks like. Right, so this is the certificate you get. You get a certificate of completion, right, with your name, uh, showing the uh, the company logo as well, and you know certificate uh, certificate of completion, right, and the date and stuff like that. You know, so this is it's pretty cool. You know, you get the certificate, and you could share it if you're on LinkedIn and stuff like that, or if you're looking for a job interview. This is perfect. You know, where you have some sort of evidence showing, well, you did successfully complete this virtual internship. Also important is they give you a little snippet, right, where you could add to your resume, right? Let me see if I could, where could I find that? This actually, uh, this just kind of shows you how you add it. Let me see if I could actually get uh, the snippet. Oh, so you hit on, no, that's, that's wrong. Let me see if I could get the snippet. I think I have to go to my dashboard since I completed it already. Right, so if I had over to my dashboard, you'd see all what I completed and what is in progress and stuff like that. So if I go to start job, job prep, here it take me to my skills, right? That I accomplished in this certificate or in this uh, course, right? It shows me all these skills that I got, you know? So I got cause analysis, firewall configuration, impact analysis, risk impact assessment all these skills i can now add to my resume as they say add these skills to your resume you know this is really cool you know how they break it down you know so if you're a newbie and you're not sure well what skills that i get from this internship they kind of lay down here for you you know they lay it out here so it's really simple for you to add to your resume also they give you a resume snippet right so this similar to the skills is something you could add to your resume, right? So as they say, companies hire candidates that understand the job and are passionate about the company. Make your resume stand out by adding a snippet to the extracurriculum section of the resume, right? Recruiters will see you have got the passion and skills to succeed, right? So basically shows you, it summarizes 
what you did for this internship, right? So you completed a job simulation involving cybersecurity for PwC, digital uh, intelligence, gaining experience in understanding and explaining the concepts of integrated defense, right? And it gives you a bunch of other things that you could use, you know? So, and they make it super simple, guys. All you have to do is hit copy, right? And you could paste this, you know? But don't paste it as job experience, as they said, if you have a, you could create if you don't have one but put it on a section like extracurriculum right so you have a extracurriculum section in your resume paste, just go ahead and copy this and paste this in there right last but not least they also give you interview tips right so this is an interview tip that they give you you know they'll ask you well why do you want to work here why this rule and here you could answer well i recently participated in pwc's job simulation on the forge platform and it was incredible you know yada 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 right but you get the point right so this is a nice cool interview tip that you can incorporate if you were to land that that interview right but guys, yeah, I don't want the video to be too long, but I just found out about this, you know, just a few months ago. And I wanted to share this with you guys, you know, because I know a lot of you are trying to break into cybersecurity, but you don't have the necessary experience. And as I said, you know, it's a cat and uh, mouse game where you want the job to get the experience, but you can't get the job because you don't have the experience. You know, if that's you, or perhaps you're already working in cybersecurity, and you want to kind of beef up your experience and knowledge and qualifications guys you won't you know you won't find something that at least i didn't find anything that comes close to this in terms of recognition because these are well-known companies the knowledge that you gain you know you learn real world things from security awareness to firewalls so all these different things until they kind of hold your hand uh, and show you what to do you know job prep Right, you get that certificate, uh, certification of completion, you get the job prep, you get the skills learned, you know, and the best part, guys, this is guaranteed. You know, you don't have to roll the dice. This You could sign up for this today. It's free to use, free to sign up, free to apply to these things, and you could do it in your own time. And, right, so if you have a day job, you know, spend an hour or two in the evening, the morning, whichever is more convenient to you, and get in this training. Right, guys, so I do, um, I think I want to end off here. I mean, if you guys are familiar, if some of you came across this platform, the Forge before, the Forage before, you know, comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on this platform, you know. Do you think it's a good resource for people now looking to start in the cybersecurity industry? Also, for those of you looking to penetrate the cybersecurity industry, let me know down below. Do you see the value in something like this? You know, these virtual internships. Do you see the value in this and how it could assist you in getting that necessary experience to land that dream job? So guys, that brings me to the end of this video. And remember, if you like this kind of content I'm creating, you know, anything related to cybersecurity, uh, network administration, system administration, you know, those sorts of things. If you like those kind of things, you know, why not consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already and hit on the notification bell so you'll be notified once a new video is released. As always, thanks again for viewing. See you soon.